Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. The South African Energy Regulator was on the wrong end of a scathing court ruling this week over its mistreatment of a 69 billion rand equity injection for ESCOM during tariff deliberations in 2019. Terence Screamer joins me to talk about the judgment and what it means for NERSA, ESCOM and consumers. Hi Terence. Hi Snell. What is the background to this ruling? Well, as we know, NERSA sets ESCOM's tariff and it does this through a public participation process. This latest tariff was set for three years from 2019 to 2022, back in 2019, where there, was, where there were public hearings and a big pushback against ESCOM's request for uh, uh, hikes of above 10% a year for the period. And uh, during those deliberations and right at the end when the announcement was made, uh, NERSA decided to exclude an equity injection of 69 billion, which had been announced uh, in the budget uh, of February by a Finance Minister Tito Mbaweni, but not yet confirmed, but to exclude it from the allowable revenue uh, uh, that would go to ESCOM. And therefore, its tariff uh, for the, the, those three years, uh, going from 2019 to 2022, was moderated quite dramatically. So Eskom immediately was not happy with that decision and signaled that it might take it on review. It waited for the, for the reasons for a decision. When those rose, uh, it immediately uh, launched an urgent application to overturn that aspect of uh, the MYPD4 decision. The judge at that time, uh, Jody Collipin, thought it was not urgent and uh, said that the merits of the case would need to be looked at. Those merits of the case have now been assessed by Judge Faiza Kathri Sitilwane this week, and that's where we are now with a scathing judgment against NERSA, where it was found that, that, it, that, in, that exclusion of the 69 billion from the allowable revenue was in fact illegal. The judge used some harsh language in her ruling. Yes, um, as I mentioned, it was actually a really scathing judgment against NERSA. She used words like bizarre uh, with regard to some of nurses' reasoning. She questioned the competence of the regulator and also made a note that NERSA was, had delayed in every aspect of the case. Um, and the reason why she therefore decided to announce a remedy, and the remedy being that the 23 billion rand a year for those three years should be added back onto ESCOM's allowable revenue. The first amount added back for next year's tariff, that's from April 1 next year, that must be added back immediately, which is going to change the tariff for 2021-22 uh, dramatically upwards. So instead of facing a 5% hike next year, consumers now face a 15% hike. And uh, the tariff itself is going to move from 116 cents a kilowatt hour to close to 129 cents a kilowatt hour. So it's quite a, a dramatic intervention by the courts. And one of the reasons why the judge said she needed to do that is she didn't have, uh, she did not believe that a nurse would necessarily act with the pace that was necessary given uh, Eskom's financial crisis, which she described as being very serious and placing uh, the fiscus under huge pressure. And therefore, she felt that she was in a competent position to say that NERSA must add uh, 23 billion back immediately in next year's tariff. What does this mean for NERSA, ESCOM and consumers? Well, I think for NERSA, it throws uh, the, the whole reputation of the regulator into doubt. Uh, we've known for many years that ESCOM have been unhappy with the way NERSA has been applying its methodologies, not only the MYPD methodology, but also when it comes for clawback amounts through the regulatory clearing accounts, it has raised serious concerns. And the courts there have also agreed in, a, in separate judgments, uh, the, the courts have agreed that um, uh, the RCA methodology was not, was not uh, performed correctly by NERSA. But in that case, the decision was remitted back to NERSA because it was felt it was a technical decision. In the case of the, the bailout, the 69 billion rand bailout, the judge felt it was a legitimate to add it immediately back. It wasn't a technical decision. 
it needed to just be added back onto the allowable revenue. So for NERSA, it uh, really doesn't look good at the moment and its credibility is in shatters uh, and it needs to rebuild from there. For ESKIM, it provides some, uh, some relief immediately. Uh, we know that uh, the, the, the collar on the upward adjustment for the next three years is in place now, it's very firm. So next year we're gonna see big hikes unless NERSA is successful in an appeal and it has indicated that it may appeal. But given what the judge said in the judgment and how scathing it was, it's going to be interesting to see whether they even get the right to appeal and whether they're able to overturn it given that they've already agreed that on the merits they were wrong uh, and they've conceded. It's going to be difficult, I think, for them to make a strong case. So I think we must accept that the 23 billion times three is going to be added back into the tariff. So for Eskom, that gives them a firm collar going forward. So we know what the price will be for, for next year's tariff. The subsequent two years depend very much on what uh, the applications are that come before NERSA. Now NERSA is making it clear that they don't feel the MRPD uh, tariff formula is fit for purpose anymore. They say it's going to lead to hikes that are too aggressively high. So there is a discussion offline that, uh, that could change the, the game of the playing field, but we've had no visibility of what the new methodology will be. We know that business is very anti the current methodology. We know that consumers feel put upon by the methodology in the sense that we're getting these, uh, if it is applied correctly, uh, which Eskom says it should be, and legally it, uh, the, judge, the court says it has to be, then we are going to face uh, hikes well above 10%, probably closer to 15% going forward. So for consumers, this is a scary judgment, but I think we need to reestablish that, we need to establish a society that rules need to be followed. You can't create your own rules, and even where there's discretion, you have to apply it uh, rationally, which I think in this case, NERSA didn't apply rationally at all. So on all counts, although Eskom's got a, a, a nice collar to its upward adjust, adjustments, I think in all cases it does raise new levels of uncertainty and it does require now an intervention by the policymaker, the DMRE and government, to say, is this methodology fit for purpose? If it's not, where are we going to transition to and how are we going to do that in a way that's fair, not just for consumers, but also for Eskom. Thank you. That's the second take show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis. Also, don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.